Hello, Rosebuds! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, I'm Rosie. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I did not mean to talk over you. What's up? How do you make sure you never miss an upload? Subscribe down below and turn on that beautiful little notification bell so you will always get notified when I post. I'll give you a couple seconds. Good? A few more time? Good? Sweet. Today, I'm gonna share with you another set of top secret tips, so shh, keep them on the DL. But this time, they're gonna be about how to write your own songs quickly and efficiently and beat writer's block. So if you're struggling with new ideas or you just have never written a song before and literally don't know where to start, these tricks might be helpful for you. All you need is the slightest little itty bitty understanding of how music works and a stick to it attitude. Trick number one, I'm gonna call this one the lyric chord melody swap because all you're gonna do is pick a song that you like that's drastically different from the kind of song that you wanna write but that has a similar level of wordiness. So like if you're trying to write a sexy, slow, sensual ballad, you're not gonna pick Rap God to be the foundation of your songwriting because that has a billion and six words and a slow, sexy, sensual ballad has like probably 20 max. Now take that pre-existing song that's gonna act as your template and you are gonna write completely new lyrics to it and try to keep with the rhyme scheme as much as you can so that when we get into the next step it still works as a nice song that sounds good. I'm gonna show you my example of one that I'm about to do right now. Alright I just decided I'm gonna pick the song Treat You Better by Shawn Mendes and I'm gonna rewrite the lyrics to be about a nasty breakup where you hate the person because that's kind of opposing thematically. Alrighty I just did the first verse but I have your Try and I try, can't get away. I wish I never made the call, never stumbled to your place, never listened to the music you like. Cause I'm up against the wall and you're staring in my face. See it every time I'm closing my eyes. Cool. So the final step to this first trick is now you're gonna pick completely different chords and you're gonna try to play around with the lyrics and the rhythms and pull it about a little bit and see if you can fit your lyrics to a new melody with new rhythms and new chords. If you don't play an instrument and you're just using instrumentals from the computer, computer, internet, geez, what? If you're downloading instrumentals from the interweb, then just pick an instrumental that that sounds drastically different from the instrumental of the song that you are using as your template. Now I'm gonna play around with some new chords, a new key maybe, some new rhythms, and I'm gonna come back with a song that sounds literally nothing like Treat You Better by Shawn Mendes. Hopefully, fingers crossed. All right, <coughs> <coughs> I'm still so sick, oh my goodness. So here is Not Treat You Better by Shawn Mendes. <coughs> You're so yesterday, so yesterday. I try and I try and I try, but I can't get away. I wish I never made the call, never stumbled to your place, never listened to the music you like. Cause now I'm up against a wall and you're staring at my face, and when I close my eyes. There may be similarities that you can hear in like the rhyming. You're probably only able to tell that it's the same as Treat You Better because you know it's the same as Treat You Better. I've messed around and written a few songs here and there that I've used this method for and people can never tell. So 10 out of 10 would recommend if you're feeling blocked. Trick number two. I call this one, now I have to look at my list. I call this one the low key lyric freestyle. Basically, all you're gonna do is pick one phrase that sort of embodies what you want the song that you're writing to be about and then pick some chords or or an instrumental that you like the sound of and improvise melodies over those chords with just that phrase that you have picked. You're gonna wanna make sure you are recording while you do it because I guarantee you if you improvise something that you like, you're gonna forget it within five seconds if you're not rolling. So make sure when you're in the stude that your producers are locking it down, you know what I mean? I'm gonna show you the process for this because the whole point of it is that you're supposed to do it on the fly. So here we go. I'm gonna pick the phrase, I hope you, I hope you never smile again. <laughs> I have no bitterness in my heart, I swear. I'm gonna stick to the chord progression that I used before, which is C, G, A minor, F. Okay, here we go. I hope you never smile again. Right. 
So, this song is so mean. <laughs> so what I came up with from a little bit of improv and a little bit of reworking was Wipe that arrogance off Give back the light that you stole Oh, oh, I hope you never smile again No getting back what you lost This half realized she's whole Songwriting trick number three. I'm gonna call this one Song Vomit because literally all you're gonna do is spew out random notes and rhythms. Don't think, just do it. Just do it. Don't think about it, just do it. Record it so you don't forget it. It can be terrible. It can be so, so bad, but just do it and keep doing it. After a while, you're gonna take some of these notes and you're gonna slowly be able to finesse them into a melody. Once you kind of have a melody figured out that you don't hate, you'll be able to figure out what key it's in and you'll be able to get a vibe for the chords and the sound and then the lyrics will come more easily. Be patient and don't try to force it. There could be a thousand normal rocks in that noggin of yours, but there could be one diamond and you never know when you're gonna dig up that diamond. So just keep throwing the rocks and eventually like, comment, and subscribe to support my metaphors. I'm gonna stick with the chords that I have. <laughs> So this is a little bit different because I'm writing over the chords. Sometimes I'll just lay in bed and be like And um, I'll record it because obviously masterpieces like that deserve to be forever frozen in time. And then I'll wake up the next day and I'll look at a voice memo from like 3.15 a.m. And nine times out of ten, I'll be like <laughs> But one time out of ten, I'll be like <laughs> write that down. That's an example of what I typically do. For now, I'm gonna do it over the chords because I wanna write a full song. Now that we have like a little melody, we have some options. I'm gonna scroll through the recording and I'm gonna see if there's anything that I wanna write lyrics to. All right. Keeping in theme with the awful breakup song with a person that you dislike a lot, I wrote some lyrics and it sounds like this. Now the breeze never felt so good. I was breathing it in like my life depended. But it's so mine, take my time. We'll never feel like a person should. Freedom and innocence are defended. Breathing fire, take my time. So now we have literally one more tip left. It is called. Let me, I gotta pick a good pose. A little hard to balance. <sighs> so I'm writing trick number four. This one is called. Poem singing, because what you're gonna do is write a poem and then sing it. Oh! Don't stress out too much about syllables and stuff, because in the same way that poetry is kind of flexible, songs are kind of flexible. They can be molded and shaped and stretched and squished and all sorts of things. Here's the poem I just wrote right now. Let me go write it. Poem time. I'm gonna read this like a slam poet. Now I notice the not obvious like dimples on strangers' cheeks. Wherever I go, I'm not gotta rush. I can just be. Feel alone, but I'm never lonely. I've got me, myself, and I. Go with the flow. Even if it flows slowly, I'm all right. So now I take that pile of tofu and I turn it into a bridge, I guess, because if I'm writing a <clears throat> full song using all my steps, all my super top secret tips, then this is going to become my bridge. Just an example of how you might do this. So like sort of how we did in the one where you mess around with that one lyric over and over again, just use your poem instead of the lyric. Mess around with it, stretch it about, see what you can come up with. Now I notice, no, see that it would have to be like, now I notice, now I notice the not obvious. Now I notice the not obvious. Yeah, now I notice the not. Let me 
change the chords up a little, I think. But keep it in the same key. Now I notice the night on his Like dimples on strangers' cheeks Wherever I go, I've not got a rush I can just be I can just be all right, we got our final trick written down, and it goes something like this. Now I notice the knot of his Like dimples on strangers' cheeks Wherever I go, I've not got a rush I can just be So that's like my poem, but I wrote a melody to it just by playing around. Thank you so much for coming on this trip to Vegan Cheese City, Tofu City. Thank you. That's it. So you can go if you want, but I am going to combine all of my parts just because you know what? Why not? I spent all afternoon writing these little pieces. May as well make one Frankenstein song from all of my secret tips and tricks. Let's just give it a whirl. <laughs> okay. Yo. So yesterday, so yesterday, I try and I try and I try, but I can't get away. I wish I never made the call, never stumbled to your place, never listened to the music you like. Cause I'm up against a wall and you're staring in my face when I close my eyes. I wipe out arc and soft, get back the light that you stole. Oh, oh, I hope you never smile again No getting back what you lost This half-realized she's whole I hope you never smell my friend Oh, Now my breeze never felt so good I was breathing it in like my life depended Oh, but it's so mine Take my time You'll never feel what a person should the freedom and innocence I defended, oh, breathing fine, take my time, yo. So yesterday, so yesterday, I try and I try and I try, but I can't get away. Now I notice the night appears, like dimples on strangers' cheeks. Wherever I go, I've not got a rush. I can just be. Sitting up for this long is making me have to burp. I can't burp on command, so when everyone comes up in my day-to-day -day life, it's like a big deal. That's it. Those are my four tips. These ones help me so, so much. Like whenever I'm stuck, I have a block, I can't think of anything. Comment down below if you use any of these tips and also comment down below anyway. And give this video a like if you use these tips and also give this video a like anyway. And subscribe because you should subscribe. Hit that bell. Hit that bell. Give it a good, a good, you know?
my fingers hurt from all that guitaring. Returning rosebuds and new rosebuds, the rosebud family, my rose buddies, all oh, my earrings. <laughs> I'm tired. I gotta go. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it a lot. I've been sick for the past couple days, so pardon my sick voice, but you know what? We're out here striving for the content. I'll see you next time. Tell your pets I say hi and love you lots. Mwah.